Today in our 2007 Subaru Forester, we're going to take a look at and also show you how to install the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver. This offers the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is 36311. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like installed on the vehicle. As you can see, our cross tube remains mainly hidden up behind the fascia. It gives us a really clean look. We've got our receiver tube opening and our safety chain connection points, really all that we've got visible. This is a class two, so we've got an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. A little reinforcement band around there that's gonna give us good strength. Then you can see our safety chain connection points here. These are kind of a rolled style steel, rolled stock style steel. Plenty of room in there to get whatever connected that we might want. Now for making our connections or attaching anything to our vehicle, you can see we've got a half inch diameter pinhole right up here. This pinhole is designed for use with class two accessories to meet the minimum weight requirements there. And it looks like you're gonna have enough room to use pins and clips, anti-rattle bolts, even locking hitch pins, should have enough room there. Now class two hitches are really pretty versatile. They're not as versatile as a class three, but this is gonna allow you to use bike racks, cargo carriers, you can tow trailers with them. Uh, the tongue weight rating or the maximum downward force that we can put here at the receiver tube opening, it's gonna be 300 pounds. The maximum gross trailer weight rating, which is the total weight of our trailer and anything that we were to load up on it, is 3,500 pounds. The hitch is not rated for use with weight distribution. And you do wanna check the owner's manual of the Forester. You wanna see what its tow rating is and go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a couple measurements that are helpful when it comes to selecting ball mounts, bike racks, or hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 13 and a half inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about four. Now to begin our installation, we're going to take down the charcoal canister here. For this, we'll use a 12 millimeter socket and we need to remove the two nuts here on the back side. See, that'll allow us to bring that down out of the way slightly so we can get to the rest of our bolts here. Next bolt we'll take out will be right here on this side. This is just a little support bolt for our tow bracket there. For this one, we'll need a 14. Now we can grab our 17, and we need to take out the three bolts that run right up our frame rail here. Toe bracket will come off. Now here on our driver's side, we've got a bolt here we're gonna be removing and two more working forward. These are both the 14s. Get our exhaust hanger out of the way here and we need to take out the four running forward. Now we'll set all of our hardware aside because we're gonna be reusing some of it when we reinstall our hitch. Now we're also gonna take down our fascia support bracket here. Remove the push pin fastener. Now we'll grab a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna pull the nut off this forward attachment point. And then we can remove the bolt that goes into the back side of the trunk pan. Now we'll use a little bit of spray lubricant here on our exhaust hanger, and we want to get that separated. Typically, a large screwdriver or a pry bar from underneath will get the job done for us. Like that. That's just going to give us a little bit of room to pull that down and get in and install our hardware. Now we're ready to get our hitch raised up into position. We want to guide the driver's side up over our exhaust here. You can see we're kind of going to have to work it around that hanger. And it should sit in front of our frame rail. Then we'll bring our cross tube up and over the exhaust. Now I like to let it sit right there while I take care of getting the bolts in my passenger side. Now as we do this, we need our hitch to go in the opening in our EVAP canister bracket and we're gonna be sandwiching that between the hitch and the bottom of the car. Now we'll take our new hardware, and just get that threaded in. You'll see a conical tooth washer on there. We want the teeth of that washer to be facing up toward our hitch. 
and we can get three or four turns on that. We can let it rest there while we get our other side started. Now with both sides started, our hitch will be held in position. We're gonna grab our other five fasteners and get those put in place. Just be sure that our forward bolt on this side is gonna pass through our hitch bracket and also our canister bracket. We can get it threaded in place. All right, once they're all started, let's just take a quick look to be sure we have our hitch centered. So we've confirmed that. Start snugging down our fasteners. All right, now we need to look in our instructions. There we'll have our torque specifications. We want to get all of our fasteners torqued down appropriately. Now we can raise our EVAP canister back up into position. And we'll secure it with the same nuts we removed earlier. Now the inside hanger, we're just gonna pass it through right back on the stud it was on. On the outside here, we're gonna use our new bolt. This bolt's gonna come with the kit. We'll place on a flat washer. We're gonna place it right through our hanger. Bring it through the hole in the side of our hitch there. Place on another washer. Then we got our lock washer and also a nut that we're gonna thread on. Now we're gonna bring our fascia out just a little bit to where the plastic tabs on the bottom side. And we're gonna re-secure it using the push pin fastener we removed earlier. And with our exhaust back in place, that's gonna complete our installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 2 trailer hitch receiver part number 36311 on our 2007 Subaru Forester.